Welcome back. So second half of this week, been pretty busy with a bunch of different things going on. Uh, here's Jeff and Devin, and they've got the mold there for the brackets or the braces that hold the uh, glare shield sort of in place and support it. And so the one sort of on either side and a little bit sort of inboard there that you'll see them later on. And I've been doing some work on the engine. So here got um, some more of the clamps and stuff in place. Um, with these, uh, you know, the connecting hoses for the water, uh, for the radiator. And here's that part that Jeff and Devin were laying up just now, so now it's under vacuum. So there's basically two of those brackets that hold the glare shield. And so the next thing with the fuselage is to get this uh, aft pressure bulkhead bonded into place. So there you can see it's all been had the final test fit and been cleaned up and there's four clecos holding it there, so that's ready for it to be bonded now. And here's that left door frame that was uh, laid up earlier in the week and you see it's been released from the mold now so that just needs to be uh, trimmed to have all the flanges sort of trimmed off of that so that's another project that will actually happen next week. It doesn't take too long just everything else going on I didn't have time to do it. And here's that one that was uh, laid up earlier those two different brackets so you see they're still in the mold but basically the um, all the peel ply and everything's been removed there so they're ready to be um, released from the mold now and moving over to the gauges for the test stand I just wanted to show you I replaced the fuel and the volts gauges because uh, the fuel gauge was the wrong impedance and it wasn't going to work with our tank so I had to replace that so I decided to replace the volts as well to make it match and uh, here on the engine a little bit more going on a couple more of the tubes in place so these are the ones um, for the intake there coming out of the intercooler and the intercooler is now mounted there as well and you see you've even got uh, some of the fittings there those are temperature sensors um, for the various parts of the cold side um, for you know for the air for the intake so we've got a whole bunch of those that are going to be hooked up to the gauges and there you can see there's the mounting for the intercooler so stuff's coming along a lot of that stuff will come back off again but at least it's been test fit and uh, here this is the um, one of the brackets that um, is lives either side of the nose gear and it has a little hard point there that's you know we just printed out a little template for where it sits there and there's the one for the other side so getting ready to uh, lay those up and uh, they basically live either side of the nose gear wheel, a wheel and you'll see in a little bit um, where they end up being and so this is the center bracket that uh, lives in between the um, main spar there and the aft pressure bulkhead and it's just an extra support to stop that pressure bulkhead from sort of flexing in the middle so that one's been trimmed and fit and ready to be bonded in. And here's Jeff actually working on laying up that nose gear bracket that you just saw, at least the first one there. So nothing really complicated about that. Just basically has to get that one hard point in there. And there's a tiny little bit of cord sort of around it. But other than that, it's just re just regular carbon uh, ply. And here's the br uh, brackets that hold the glare shield. And you see they've been uh, released and also had the flanges trimmed off there. So they're basically ready to go. So... Um, you know, again, having a bunch of different parts, so as the fuselage comes together, we don't actually have to lay stuff up. We can just get ready to bond it in place. And here's the uh, aft pressure bulkhead now, and you see it's been bonded in. And so there's a, the grey there is the high sole. So just basically a strip along the top of the main spar there and along the back um, behind it. And you can see under there we have a little bit of extra on the, under there. And then there's that little bracket that I showed you in behind there to hold it in the centre. So that one's another one uh, bonded into place now, so a fuselage is coming along. And this is that nose gear bracket now, um, the first one that Jeff laid up. So that's under vacuum there, and there you can see in the center there the hard point there. And that's basically a hard point for where the retraction mechanism um, basically bolts up. And here's Jeff removing the peel ply and breather fabric and such from that particular part. So um, in, in preparation for releasing it. And no real problems with that one, and this is a lot like a lot of the parts that still have to come that will go fairly quickly. And the guys are working pretty hard this week on getting both of these uh, wing spar plugs ready. So they got the first round of sanding done, and uh, Jeff primed both of them. And you can see now they've been uh, sprayed with a guide coat and um, ready to have um, their first round of sanding. Sorry, second round of sanding uh, done on there. And actually, you can see this one, and um, the guys already were starting on that one. So it won't be long and uh, that one will be ready for the second coat of primer and then uh, not long after that, we'll be ready to pull the mold. 
And in between, uh, Keith was waxing uh, these particular ones. So this is the uh, inner winglet mould. Just We're not going to lay those up right away, at least I don't think so. But anyway, just prepping the mould so it's ready. And there's the other one. And, and Devin um, put all the tacky tape on there and taped it on. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they are going to lay it up. I wasn't in the loop on this one. But anyway, um, just more things ready for layup. And Keith and Zach are working uh, Friday afternoon on getting these uh, frames sort of sorted out for what's going to be the wing fixtures for holding the wing skins in place while the, all the ribs and the um, spars are laid in. So that's uh, moving along. And a little bit more work on the engine here. So I'm actually just getting the final alignment here for the belt drive system because um, the tabs that were sort of tack welded in there weren't exactly aligned. So I had to take them out and then reposition them so anyway next week they'll get welded back into place or at least tacked into place and then I can align the rest of it and lastly here's uh, that first bracket for the nose gear that was popped out and this is kind of where it sits there so it helps uh, the nose gear guide into place um, although we don't really need it with a castering nose well but anyway you'll see more on that um, in the future uh, that's our update for this week and uh, thanks again for watching